One-liners are everywhere, and they have taken the full place of the old storyline. Storyline goes, by the way, in the same way with in music, melody has given place to the new rock forms. Instead of a tune which goes on and on, you have simply the broken uh, and fragmented harmonics and uh, juxtapositions of rhythm. Abstract music. Abstract art, abstract music is an art in which you pull out the connections. I understand that you're going to have a sculpture by Picasso on this campus. And abstract sculpture or abstract art is an art in which there is no visual component. All you have is the acoustic, tactile, kinetic form. Corbusier, the great architect, said, architecture is best appreciated at night, in the dark, where you can feel the thrust and the forces at work in the building. This is not visual. Now, cubism, cubism is an art form in which you are given simultaneously the underneath the outside, the top, and the bottom of an object, giving it simultaneously in one level. To have all sides simultaneously is not visual, it is acoustic and tactile. So abstract art is an art in which they have pulled out the visual connections. And that began about 1900. It was about the same time that the physicists pulled out the connections in matter. Quantum mechanics, 1900, Max Planck, pulled out all the connections in matter and gave us quantum theory. Quantum theory is simply physics minus the connections. And uh, it's, uh, it's quite easily understood, even by scientists. <laughs> but don't think they don't have their troubles, because one of the problems of Western visual man is that he tries to translate everything into visual terms. It is very difficult for a Western man to take things except in a visual, connected, rational mode. Modern physicists report all their findings in Newtonian terms, <clears throat> which are the old-fashioned visual language. One of the peculiarities of modern physics is it still uses the old Newtonian language. Newton was all visual. Everything was classified, connected, continuous. Modern physics is in, has many troubles with the visual problem and the acoustic problem. And the, they don't know whether, for example, to have a particle theory or a wave theory of matter. And a particle theory of matter tends to be visual and a wave theory tends to be kinetic. But uh, modern physics is divided into the sensory, different sensory modes of man. And uh, many members of the top physics world are quite unable to understand some of the visual aspects or the non-visual aspects of their own field. They're very good at maintaining the uh, general decorum and the conventional respectability of their, cl their clan, but in fact, they are divided by severe strife within. Speaking of the flips, that's a story that exists somewhere between the storyline and the one-liner is the Norman Mailer story at Berkeley. A few months ago, he was addressing a women's lib group, and <clears throat> he said to them, everybody in this hall who regards me as a male chauvinist pig hiss and they all hissed very loudly. And he turned to the chairman and he said, obedient little bitches, aren't they? 